Hi everyone, Dr. Nemechek here. I want to talk about the concern people have with medications versus supplements. Because uh, the thing I hear commonly is people saying, oh, I don't want to use that medicine. Did you look at the side effect list of all the things it can potentially do? And they, they prefer to use the supplements, but the thing is the supplements don't tell you the side effects that they potentially could cause. All right, that's one of the big problems, one. Two, as I've said in other videos, majority of the supplements sold in America are fraudulent, all right? They either don't have the dose that's listed on the label or they don't contain any of the nutrients that are on the label. So we got a big problem with the supplements there. But when it comes to just the side effects, you know, they don't tell you the problems. Trust me, you know, vitamin C causes problems in people, all right? People will use it for constipation, but that, <clears throat> If it fixes constipation, it's only because there's so much vitamin C there that it's toxic to your intestinal tract and it's triggering a diarrhea and that kind of offsets the constipation. So th there's a lot of problems with these supplements. If we need nutrients, you get it through food. We don't have much trouble absorbing nutrients, okay? And the food is fine in that regard. But in terms of like the side effects, when you look at a list of side effects, you know, you'll get from a prescription, you get from the pharmacy, they have this list. One, know that that list is actually a legal document. First and foremost, it's not a medical document, it's a legal document. And they will put things in there that may not necessarily occur because uh, they don't wanna get sued for it. So like if probably every prescription drug sold in America says, do not consume with alcohol. Why? They don't want some drunk person running a red light and killing somebody and blaming it on their medicine. Okay? So th those things aren't always correct, what they put on there. Two, it's the relative risk. Like what percentage of people might have this? And it's not that that side effect is list is if you take it, you're going to get all of these. Typically, it's less than 1% of the patients might have a chance of getting these. So one out of 100 might get this. And that's, the, that's how you have to practice medicine. And, and, that, and just caring for people is you have to balance the risks with the benefits. And, you, and to balance them, you have to know what the potential risks are. So if you look at these potential side effects, you just keep your eye out for those things, okay? It doesn't mean they're gonna happen. And in very high proportion of the times, it won't, okay? So don't be afraid of that, but it's now you have this list of safe, of things to look out for, and if it happens, you can stop the medicine right away. And you're safe. If you're using supplements and these super doses and things that, you know, some of these homeopathic concoctions, which you do not even know what's in there, you don't even know what to look out for. And you're just presuming it's safe because it's natural or something like that. And that's just false, okay? It's false thinking. So don't be afraid of medicines because something's on the side effect list, okay, of your typical type medicines. If there's one thing in particular, talk to your physician about it. But just know it's not a guarantee by any stretch you're going to get that or your child is going to get that, okay? But now you're in a safe position because you know if it does happen, you know how to stop it right away. You can control that. And if it doesn't happen, you can safely keep giving them the medication, all right? Well, I hope that helps for some of you. You all take care. Have a good week. Bye.